All right, we are live. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of the Authentic Beauty Campaign. So today we have a special guest and her name is Brianna Moore. And I would love for her to introduce herself to you all because she's not wearing a sash right now, but she is a contestant in a pageant called Miss Mississippi River. Um, it's the new pageant, and Brianna's going to tell you more about what she's doing for her plaque, all that wonderful stuff. But first, she's going to introduce herself and tell you all what she's been up to. All right, take the floor, girl. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Brianna Moore. I'm a junior at Jackson State University. I major in social work. Uh, <laughs> I am a contestant in the Miss Mississippi River Scholarship Pageant, which is a new pageant system. And basically, we focus on embracing women and also our scholastic achievements as well, um, which I love about the whole entire system within itself. Um, as my platform in the pageant, I'm focusing on the military and military family. Um, the support system that military families and militaries get is a very strong foundation, and it's something that I'd like to keep going, especially the mental health aspect of it as well. That's something that no one really sheds light on, so I'm using my platform to shed a little bit more light on. I love that about you. Thank you so much. And I am too excited about the Miss Mississippi River Scholarship pageant. Um, I feel as though it's going to bring so much to the community. Um, you girls are all amazing. I had a chance to speak to you all in a couple of sessions and you all are just awesome and doing so great within the community. So thank you so much for coming on, Brianna. So why did you decide to join the Authentic Beauty Campaign? Okay, so I decided to join the Authentic Beauty Campaign because when I read about it and just talking to you about it, I love the target audience, the age group of the women, and how we also focus on mental health. Um, like I said, mental health is something that I feel like doesn't really get that much light shed onto yeah. it. So I love, love, love that the Authentic Beauty Campaign focuses on that as well and just embracing your beauty as well. So I think that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Embracing our beauty, um, embracing who we are is very important. And thank you so much for joining us because that is exactly what the Authentic Beauty Campaign is about. So here is the million dollar question. Um, the question that I ask every single woman that comes on here, what does beauty mean to you? <laughs> Beauty to me is personal. Beauty is something that you find within yourself and you have your own personal meaning of. No one can tell you that you're not beautiful if you're feeling beautiful. No one can tell you how to stand in your beauty. That's just something that's personal within yourself. So that's why I say beauty is personal. I love that. And you know what? Personal is, this is the first time I've ever heard beauty is personal. And when you told me that, I'm like, okay, I am interested in hearing what she's going to say. But you're right. We are all beautiful in our own right, right? We are all, and it's right. personal, right? right? Our beauty within us, it is personal. It's our own beauty. Um, and I love that. I love that you explained it that way because I never would have thought of it that <laughs> way at all. And that's and this is another reason why I love bringing different women on, like not the same women every time, because I get something different and authentic as well, because that right. is you. Um, your beauty is personal, right? Your beauty right. is personal. <laughs> everyone's beauty is personal. Exactly. Their everyone's personal beauty. statement. Exactly. Right. Personal statement. I love it. I love it. Everyone's beauty is personal. It is their own, and right. I love that. It is their own, and saying that it's personal to me is something that is unheard of, um, and I love it. I do. Thank you. I have to watch out for you, Brianna Moore, <laughs> uh, because that's not an obvious answer, but it is the answer when you broke it down and said, mm -hmm. hey, your beauty is personal because it's your own. Um, right. I think that is amazing. 
Um, because we, as women, we think of beauty as, oh yeah, beauty is how we feel, how we think, but we can't just put that into um, just saying overall beauty, right? It right. has to be your own beauty within yourself, exactly. not compared to anyone else. Right. Exactly. That. Like we just explain it even better. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, I was thinking like, what is she going to say? <laughs> for beauty is personal because I've never heard of that before, but I can see that perspective mm -hmm. and it is to me is very brilliant. And thank you for sharing that. So while we're on the topic of sharing, um, <laughs> you share some beautiful moments that happen within your lifetime. Of course. So beautiful moments in my lifetime that I hold close to my heart are just been in time with family. As a military child, I don't really get to see my family that often because we're always moving around. So I really do savor those beautiful, beautiful moments with my grandma, my granddad, aunts, uncles, like all of that. Like those are the my true beautiful moments just spending it with family. I love that. Spending with family, loved ones, close ones. Because of that move, because of, like you said, sometimes you do have to pack up and go after being mm -hmm. somewhere where we're two or three years and then have to switch and change again. Right. Um, I want to ask you, how did that affect you as a child? I know that this is your platform, right? This right. is something that you're passionate about. And I love the fact that you've made your platform personal because it makes more people interested in you and what you're doing. So can you tell us a little bit about how did you feel when, you know, you will live places for maybe like a short period of time, you probably getting comfortable. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're moving, like, how did that right. make you feel? Um, it made me feel sad a lot of times. Like I would be really sad because like you said, you get really attached to a place and then you just have to pick up and move. And it's not like it's a two or three hour move. Like one time I had a move that was a 14 hour move, which also Ooh. causes culture shocks as well. Yeah. Moving from Full Walton Beach, Coast Florida, Coast, yeah. the DMV are two totally different playing fields. And it can, it takes a lot, especially on a young child as well, because like you get used to being in one setting, you get comfortable, you find like your area, and then you have to do it all over again. So it definitely does take a toll on the kid mentally and also the adults as well. Like I don't want to exclude the adults either, but exactly. I know speaking from a child's perspective, it definitely does bring a really big toll on us. Exactly. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, um, it was heartbreaking at times when you had to move and get up and go, but look at who you are now. Seriously, <laughs> look at what you're doing now. Just bringing awareness to this because a lot of people don't talk about how the effects of how it made them feel. They're right. like, Oh yeah, I just moved around a lot. But mm -hmm. how did that really make you feel? How mm -hmm. did that affect you in your life? How did that affect how you interact with people? Um, and I think also people on the outside, they look and they're like, oh, my gosh, you're so lucky to be a military child. Like you get to move around and you get to travel. And mm -hmm. that is great. Like that is wonderful. Like that's one thing that I'm forever grateful and blessed that I had the opportunity to see. Like we were stationed in Guam one time. That's actually where yeah. I started school. So I'm extremely blessed for that. But I also want to shed light on the part that no one really talks about, which is the downfall to it, because there's always a downfall to something. There's pros and cons to everything. Exactly. Yeah. I love, I love that you're shedding light to something a lot of people are not talking about right now, but um, I think because of the pandemic and because um, mental health within the black community, I feel like mm -hmm. is being shown more right. now that it's time that we do speak up about these issues mm -hmm. and it's time that we can say, Hey, it's okay that we are people of African descent, we are people of color, that it's okay to talk about these things, whether you know, you're know you military, whether you're um, maybe somewhere else, I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> military or maybe just a school teacher with her kids or right. a principal with his kids or just someone else, accountant with their kids. It's something that we really need to talk about um, within our community itself. Exactly. And I feel like now it's 
it's an open field. I feel like mm -hmm. more people are open to talking about it and, and learn more. Exactly. And learn more. And you can be that voice. Um, and I love the fact that you are for the Miss Mississippi River pageant with well, scholarship pageant. Let me not forget scholarship. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm really happy you are that voice for the kids that probably didn't say much, right? Or mm -hmm. for the people that are within the um, military realm and you want to talk about, hey, how this can affect the family itself, not just right. the kids, but the family, how it affects, you know, the parents, how it affects the children, maybe even the outside family as well, how you don't see them as much. And right. so I love the fact that you're you're speaking up about that because that is important within our community and not just the black community, but I feel like within community itself. Right. Yes. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. So look at you sharing about your platform and <laughs> beautiful moments with your family. I love that. Love that. So this gives us to the next question. So how do you capture those beautiful moments with your family? I capture those beautiful moments with my family with pictures, of course, and videos. Like I'm definitely the friend that's always recording and taking pictures. So that's how I capture my moments so that I can look back on them when I'm not around them. I can always have those with me. I can print them out, hang them up in my dorm room or anything like that. So definitely pictures and cameras. I'm that person. <laughs> yes, pictures and cameras. <laughs> Pictures and cameras. I, I totally agree with that. Were you a were you a two thousands kid? I was born in two thousand. Two thousand. There we go. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I had some students were two thousand um, babies, and I'm like, look at you guys over here. They took so many pictures, mm -hmm. and I thought I had a lot of pictures. So, <laughs> you two thousand babies. You guys are doing it up. Props. Yeah. <laughs> Props. It's a lot of pictures in those phones. <laughs> we have to buy extra storage on our phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so great. All right. So now we know that how you capture your beautiful moments. So now I want you to just tell us what advice would you give to um, any young girl out there? Any advice? <laughs> Any type of advice. It can be whatever you may think about. But what advice would you give to young girls? Um, the advice I give to young girls is stay true to yourself. Uh, find your confidence within yourself. And just know, as I stated earlier, your beauty is personal. Don't try to be someone that you're not. Don't try to compare next to the next. Just be yourself. Be the strong, confident young child that you are. It's going to pay off in the end, I promise. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Be yourself, be confident, and it's going to pay off in the end. Can you say that again? I, I want everybody <laughs> to hear it loud and clear, your advice. Can you tell us your advice again? Because I love it. <laughs> yes, just stay true to yourself. Be yourself. Know that your beauty is personal. You can only be yourself. Don't try to be the person next to you. And like I said, it's going to pay off in the end, I promise. Speaking from advice from a military child, I used to try to fit in all the time. And it wasn't until I got to high school when I really found my true self. And I realized I started flourishing because I found my true identity. Like I was being myself and I found my confidence. Love that. I love that. Look <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I am so proud of you. I am just sharing your story with us today, um, sharing about how beauty is personal and be yourself and just comparing that to your story of being a military child, of moving around a lot and just wanting to fit in and find that right. comfortable spot. Um, but it's good that you found exactly, found your confidence and you found who you were and you realize no matter where I go, I'm still Brianna, right? right. I'm still Brianna. This is me. So either you're going to take me, you take me. I don't care. It doesn't matter because I'm still going to be me at the end of the right. day. Right. Exactly. I love that. Well, do you have anything going on? Because we want to we want to keep up with you because your passion right. is in November. Right. And we have a while to go, mm -hmm. right? Um, but November is going to be 
just like that. It's going to come really fast. Really fast. <laughs> so we want to keep up with you and your events and what you're doing. So can you tell us some of the things that you are doing um, to promote your platform? Yes, the main thing that I have going on right now with my platform is I'm currently accepting donations to send care packages to the troops that are overseas in my mom's battalion. So um, anything you can think of, we're taking fruit snacks, uh, Red Bulls, sugar-free Red Bulls, trail mix, <laughs> shareable candy so that they can share while they're out in the field. Um, you can go to my Instagram. It's B R E A N N A dot A L I S A. And I have all of the um, information out there where you can send donations and what other donations we're accepting as well. I'm accepting it until the end of the month, and anything helps. I love that anything helps. Toothpaste, mm -hmm. you guys, toothpaste, flops, whatever, anything, well, not whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but anything helps you all. Anything helps. Anything Thank you. Helps. Thank you so much for what you're doing for our troops. Um, our troops are so amazing because they mm -hmm. give their lives for us. Um, right. And thank you for acknowledging that. Um, and that is so amazing. That's amazing. All right. So I want you to, before we hop off, I'm not going to ask you any more questions, I promise. But uh, <laughs> before we hop off, I want you to... Tell everyone your social media handles. I know you just gave one, mm -hmm. uh, but tell everyone how can they reach you, uh, stay up to date with you. Um, so, yeah, tell us your uh, social media handles. <laughs> <laughs> so my main platform of social media is Instagram, and it's Brianna, B-R-E-A-N-N-A -N -N -A dot A-L-I-S-A. -A. Uh, that's where I'm posting everything pageant wise, everything platform wise. So if you want to help out, that's where you can find me. If you have any questions, you can email me at B-R-E-E-M-O-E-29 -E -E at Gmail. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank okay, you for everyone, having me. <laughs> if you want to support our troops, this is the girl right here to contact. <laughs> um, she's working her platform and she's making it happened. She's supporting the people who support us. And I, I think that it's incredible. All right, everyone. Well, thank you all for tuning in. And don't forget to keep up with Brianna and everything that she's doing with her social media handles. Have a great day. And we have so much for you all next week. But I'm taking a break during the weekend. So <laughs> see you all next week on Monday for our next episode for the Authentic Beauty Campaign. Bye, everyone. <laughs>